everybody. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> All right. Um, we, I also went to Sally's the other day. They were having the buy two China Glaze nail polishes and get one free, right? Mm -hmm. And Chelsea picked up this color. What is that? This is Awakening. I really like it. I have it on my toes. Yeah, it's pretty. It's really pretty. And then we bought um, an olive amber. I, I don't really like this one so much, but we don't have a color like this. So What is it called? In awe of amber. Oh, in awe of amber. So I it's don't know. It's kind of a real frosty brown, bronze, bronzy color. But we don't have a color like this, so. So we thought we'd try it. I don't know. And then we bought and oh, we bought two china glaze, and we decided to get this um, finger paint. And we have ruby pumps. Everybody knows what ruby pumps is. Love, love, love this color. But we bought this uh, finger paint, and it looks just almost like Ruby mm -hmm. Pumps. But it's called a Magenta Mood. Uh, Magenta is my va very favorite color in the crayon box, so I had to get this. It looks and just I, like Ruby Pump. I have it on, so you can see it kind of looks. It's really pretty. It, I, like I think it a lot. it's a little less dark. Yeah. More pinky than Ruby Pumps. Ruby maybe. Pumps is like a. I mean, Ruby Pumps. Really pump. deep red. Yeah. Like if you put them up together. But they're pretty close. But they're like almost exactly And I really like that finger paint and snow polish. It goes on really, really smooth. And it's got a really nice brush. And I like the um, the handle because it's it, it's just easier to hold than the, um, the, the China Glaze, I think. But, yeah. So, really liked that. And then while we were there, we got these. Um, we got two eyeshadows from... Um. Palado. Palladio. Palladio. And that the, one is just... This is just vanilla. Vanilla. Oh, what color is that, honey? This is a uh, raisin. Vanilla is good. And then we got raisin, which is... Uh, they're both really, really pigmented. So I think they were buy one, get one free, or buy one, get one 50% off. I can't remember. So we thought we'd try those. We got that other hair polish stuff, too. Oh, yeah. We got the... Um, as my nails take forever to dry. I have acrylic nails on. We both wear acrylic nails because I'm a really bad nail biter. Well, solar, whatever. Anyway, <laughs> and they take forever to dry, so we got this Rush. It's 60 second high speed top coat. And I don't know, it doesn't dry it completely in 60 seconds, but it sure does help a lot. So I really like that. It's a huge bottle. Maybe. Yeah, it is a huge bottle. And then on my impulse buy at the cash register, you know, <laughs> you know how that is. I got it's some only of this. Cents. What is it called? Um, heel to toe feels like new foot softener. Yeah, and anything to make my feet feel better, and are your elbows or, are you know any dry little it's really area? It's hard. Yeah, but it's real smooth. It's kind of got a mini smell to it. It's real. Thicker than uh, Vaseline for sure, but uh, yeah, I haven't really used that too much yet. Oh, also while we were at Icing, I picked up this um, foundation. It was on sale. It was in the sale bin. I think I got it for two. It's kind of got, what does it say, Chelsea? It's light, but it's, it's got a, some sparkle in it. <clears throat> it's a luminizer. A luminizer. But it's a... Uh... With a hint of shimmer to keep you glowing all day long. Yeah, well, Chels tried it, and I tried it, and neither one of us really like it. So, we'll, um... I mean, it's really weird. It has kind of a... It's sparkle, but not crazy sparkle. No, but you know, and it's, and it's just light, but it's pretty dark. And Chelsea's I mean, compared light. compared to my skin, look at that. Yeah, that's not light, is it? No, and, but I'm, like... So we might send oh, this I to, um, I think we're going to send this to my daughter, Melissa. She doesn't really wear foundation. But she's got dark skin. But she, skin. Yeah, so we'll send it to her. Maybe she can try it or one of her friends can try it. She gets, she gets a lot of our stuff that we don't like. Bless her heart. I got a whole box of stuff here going out to her. Going out to her um, this week. I picked this up for it, icing. It's a piece. She's my upside down. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> She's my little my little hippie chick, my little hippie daughter. So I got this. It's a little big. It's heavy. It's a magnet for a refrigerator. Mm -hmm. I saw it. Anyway, I got 
all kinds of lip glosses in here for her and nail polishes and all kinds of stuff and I, it's not done I'm not done filling it up yet and then uh, I'll mail it to her <laughs> it works so she'll have some goodies to open with some candles in it <coughs> I think she's out of candles and last time she was here she didn't get any anyway and then we picked these three little nail, mini nail polishes up um, no we got these at Sally's oh yeah these Sally's. are Sally's and uh they're tiny. They're little tiny things, but they're great colors for summer. I, my swimming suit is this bright pink color, so this will match my swimming suit perfect this summer. And I love orange on my toes in the summertime. And this is just a pretty purple color. So those look, those were fun. So we had to get those. All right, and then after we um, left the mall on Good Friday, we decided to go. Um, through Rockwall Home because well we were looking for a purse too both yeah. of us were looking for a purse and neither one of us found a purse at the mall and, then, and I said to Chelsea I always find a purse when I go to Ross and um, I said but there's there's a Ross on Rockwall so we decided we decided to go to Rockwall which is also where we used to live and I grew yeah. up and I'm we hadn't been in Rockwall in a while this is where we lived before we moved to East Texas and where Chelsea grew up at so we decided to go through Rockwall so anyway I want to tell you this quick story first before I tell you what happened at, at Ross. So we're going across the bridge uh, over Lake Ray Hubbard, which is a three-lane bridge in the fast lane. I mean, a three-lane bridge. And we were in the center lane. And it was like 4 o'clock in the afternoon, so there was a lot of traffic. And it was kind of bumper to bumper, but everybody was doing 60 miles an hour. And anyway, I was in the center lane, and um, all of a sudden, the traffic started to come to a stop. And Chelsea... Before anything happened, Chelsea said, oh, my God. And right after she said that, the car right next to us. In the slow one. The, she, the, guy, the car in front of her was coming to a stop, and she wasn't even slowing down. That's why Chelsea said, oh, my God. She saw the brake lights in the car in front of her, and she saw that the girl in the car next to us was not slowing down. And she rammed 60 miles an hour into the back of the car in front of her and I was just trying to get out of the way because about she hit that car and then that car hit the car in front of her and I'm right next to them and I you know I couldn't speed up too much because the cars were stopping in front of me too but I was trying to get out of the way of the flying debris or the cars that were turning sideways and coming into my lane and it was pretty scary <sighs> it was really scary because the girl that that hit the car she was, like, two seconds before it even happened, I could see her in the car just, you know, twirling her hair, just not even paying attention, daydreaming. And then two seconds later, I see her fly into the car in front of her yep. and just go forward and hit the the mm. steering wheel. And it was pretty scary. Yeah, Chelsea said when she saw her, you know, she was, like, twirling her hair uh, when we, you know, we passed her before the accident happened. And Chelsea was like, oh, she's got pretty hair, you know. Yeah. And then two seconds later, this girl is have, having this major crash. I mean, she was doing 60 miles an hour when she pretty much hit that guy that was standing still in front of her. And Chelsea said she saw her fly forward. There was no way I could stop and see. All I did immediately after it, was ha after it happened was, you know, thanked God for keeping us safe and praying um, and asking him, you know, please make sure, I hope that she, I prayed that she was okay as well. And then everybody in the accident, because it was at least three cars and it might have been yeah. more. I couldn't tell. We were still going. Um, so it was really, really scary and it definitely shook us up. And, you know, that's how quickly accidents happen. That's, what, you know, Chelsea just got her driver's license and, you know, when you're not, you have to pay attention constantly. You can't, you know, be twirling your hair and, and daydreaming in rush hour traffic. And uh, it shook her up. It shook us both up really bad. Anyway, so let's get on to a, I haven't, you know, we didn't watch the news. I don't know if it was even a bad enough accident to be on the news, but hopefully we pray that that girl is okay. Um, okay, this is going to be a three-part video. It is? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're going to cut it off here. <laughs> And then we're going to tell you about our Ross trip because we have some really good stuff that we got from there too and then some other stuff that happened. But anyway, so we're going to cut this off now and we'll see you in a minute.